Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. It is Shopping Saturday, is that what I used to call it? Shopping cold Saturday? Shopping. It's cold, it's getting colder. We're having some problems with the pig, but right now we are headed out to get our grain and stuff. We used to go shopping every Saturday and we used to go like to the mall. We used to get our groceries. We used to go to the tax store and do fun shopping. Now we buy so much feed every single week. So much feed. <laughs> but that's where we go. This is it for this week, you guys. I should start filming what we buy every I'm single week. More horse grain too. Yeah, next horse grain. All right, so now we're shopping for fun stuff. These are so cute though. This is what we came for because this is so nice. Like, I love this. Well, I feel like the whole bag. that will hold a whole bag. It goes all the way to here. It's huge. Anyway, I like this. It's up off the ground. They can't get dirt in there. So which one is it? So anyways, they're on sale. So we wanted to come and get that because it'll be so much easier. 45 pounds? 35 pounds. They're only 10 pounds apart? All right, so this one's on sale for $89.99. That one's on sale for $79.99. $10 difference for such a huge difference in size. Clearance. But these are not the ones... That we normally use? Well, it doesn't matter. The one I use... Everything that we used in the winter is on clearance here. They have these nesting boxes. We're going to try these instead of the ones that we yeah, this made. Yeah, 20 bucks. That's a good deal. It is a good deal. What's this one? This one's reduced by 20. Yeah, but that one you plug in. To into the, the special tank? I think so. So uh, today is a chicken shopping day. This is the same stuff you can get at the dollar store without the fancy gorilla tag for $1.50. The dollar store or Ten, 16, 15 dollars six, here. Yeah, and it's probably made by the same it's company. The same stuff, same epoxy, five minute epoxy. Yeah, you know what's funny though? When you become a farmer, suddenly fencing becomes super interesting to you. I love spring shopping. So one thing that I need to invest more into more of are these jugs. I need one for every single thing of food that I scoop. I decided to get this one because it has how many cups? The other one I have is metal and it doesn't have any cups on the, like it doesn't measure. This one is a six cup, probably an eight cup capacity if you fill it to the top. We're headed home, I'll show you everything that we bought. I love shopping days, shopping days are my favorite. <laughs> so let's talk about Little Miss Posey. She wants me to sit on the ground with her. She's like sit down. So the thing that's hard about Posey is that I take her down to the barn every single day when we go to do goat chores. I do it so that she gets used to going in the barn because ultimately... Oh, that's the cutest thing I ever saw. She loves it. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> she loves balls. Anyway, I take her down to the barn and she loses her mind, freaks out, and screams her head off because she doesn't want to go in a stall. She, Essentially, she she's gonna she's just looking at the, like sitting looking at the cat while the cat was Look, looking. she knows that you've got them. Isn't she so cute? I'm obsessed with her, you guys. She's obsessed with me. I'm obsessed with her. Sam, she plays with the balls. Hi, Ellie, she says. Ellie's like, I don't really like you. You try and steal my mom. No, she's wagging her tail because she's... They wag their tail when they're happy. Every time I'm trying to film something, I always have it. Oh, she's got it. She picked it up in her mouth. Uh-oh, what are you eating? Her favorite treat is Cheerios, so that's what I've been using to train her. But that's the problem. She is a pig and she's gonna live in the barn, but she hates the barn. Like she screams her head off as soon as she sees the door to the barn. She already knows. But other than that, she's perfect. She's funny, so funny. She's so playful. She throws fits if she doesn't like something, but if she likes something, she's so affectionate, so affectionate. Little Posey. <laughs> so 
So we've been trying. I've been trying to find her some toys that she will like. That's all of her little pellets on the floor. When we leave, I put her in her crate and I put her her little um, I put her little snuffle mat on there so that she can eat when we're not here. Those are all your balls, Posy. I missed it. She picks it up in her mouth and then throws them. That was adorable. You didn't even see it. I did see it. I saw her throw it. We're changing up what we're doing with the chickens. We're gonna use this feeder. Do you like it? I, this is the kind I wanted. Oh, well we got it. Like, look how huge that is. It stands so tall. So Sam got a de-icer for our horse tanks because they were on sale. We they bought- They are gonna lay in these. Yeah, these are- I hope you know they're not going to use it. These are nesting boxes, but then we got <laughs> these things. I've seen them before on Amazon. But we're gonna try them, it's a nesting sheet. I'll show you, we're gonna show you how they work. Like I said, I also got a feed thing. And then Sam got a bunch of shavings. I got, this is the pig food. This is the pig pellet for mini pig. Sam got shavings and I got pig food, two kinds of goat food and chicken food. So right now I've been using like these little cups to scoop feed. I don't know, oh I put, scraps from in the house in that bucket and brought them out but we definitely have been needing more scoops all right here we go this is what it looks like it's a little bit lopsided they kind of are confused by it they can see the food in there but they don't understand fully how to get it and before long it'll be covered in poop and that's why but we're gonna see we're gonna see if it works. Here are the nesting boxes. Sam's gonna hang them up. Um, these little pads in there, they they um, pick them with their feet. They fluff them up with their feet. And then they'll end up laying eggs on there or sleeping in there. We'll see. We'll see what happens. This one? <laughs> They're all looking at me like, where's the treats? <laughs> I'll go get you some treats, okay? I'll go get you something. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> so I was just watching on the camera. I haven't seen the goats for a while and it makes me so super nervous because of the babies. I hear them. But not just because of the babies, because the mamas, when they get locked away from their food, then they can't eat and then eating is what helps them make milk. I see some of them and then I hear some of them screaming. So most of them are here. Why were they screaming? <laughs> the little yellow boy is stuck. The little yellow boy? Oh my gosh. This one got in. What? Does he have blood on him, did you say? No, I said it's a boy out the door. Oh. Oh, he can get out. He no oh, he can't. So that's how they go under. He's, he's our hardest one to maintain. He's all the problems. He's all the problems. He's like, come on, food. It's him. He's the problem. It's him. Oh, my gosh. Literally. Oh, look at how cute she is. I didn't bring any treats for you. I'm sorry. Her cute little babies, though. She had a good amount of fat on her when she gave birth. Oh, man. He's like, I'm good now, guys. They just scream, though. Like... That's when you, the one that has problems. He is the problem maker. Yeah, catch him. Oh, he's fat though. Yeah, they're getting fat. Let's see him. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. He's like, wait, I want to go back with my mama. So, wow. Yeah, let him eat. Who knows how long they were separated for. Uh, yeah, one. there we go. He got light. Or I'm just. This guy's probably 20 pounds for sure. He's such a big boy. His mom doesn't even care that much about him anymore. Yeah, because she's he's, just like, fine. He's practically grown. grown. So I've decided that we're gonna raise registered groats and trying to improve our lines. Which honestly, See, the mean, buck we had already improved with these babies. Three of them are like incredible. Those two take more after their mom. <laughs> no, that only just only just her she takes after I'm his mom. I'm so glad that Winston took after his dad. 
Yeah, Winston's <laughs> like so cute. But there's always things that you can improve on. And because we don't have any go girls, we're not going to get to see the improvement on on udders through this breeding season but we still have time left but anyways the whole thing i'm trying to say here is that so i we're gonna buy some registered goats some really nice ones and i think i found our first foundation doe she's about she's she's a baby still she's a doling she's weaned already though so she's ready to go in the next couple of weeks so Hey Winston, you got a girlfriend. We might have found our first registered go. I'm just waiting to hear back from the lady um, to arrange pickup. So if that happens, I already have the name picked out. It will be my goat. So if he doesn't like her because so if he's not in love with her, so if he wants one that like is show quality, there's a big difference between a registered goat and a show quality goat. So she wants a very, very specific goat and I already am on like a, on a list for when those babies are born. They're not going to be born until July. See, that one is like always a daredevil. Like he's the one that always is like in trouble. If somebody's in trouble, it's that gold one. <laughs> We're not keeping him, that's for sure. We're keeping him. He's my boy. But anyways, so wish us luck in the next few. I knew you would change your mind. In the next couple of weeks, we, I don't know. I haven't, I'm not sure if I want to change my mind. I don't want even one boy. You said we're keeping him. I know, but yeah, boys are trouble. So uh, the reason that it's hard to keep a boy is because girls need a special diet. Babies need a special diet. Girls need a special diet. Nursing moms need a special diet. Pregnant does need a special diet. And it's a special diet that I don't feel comfortable giving to boys. Boys can't have a lot of things. And they can in moderation, but not the way that I want to feed my goats. <laughs> Look at how cute that is. They're literally, uh, both of them standing up there trying to climb on their mom. So that's why it's hard to have a boy. Anybody who is in with uh, our weather can't have the kind of food that I want all of them to have. So anyway, we're going to figure it out for sure. All right, let's go. You guys are safe. Oh, we can't take him away from his girl. Bye, Lola. We love you. So this morning when I came down to do chores, it was so funny. I brought the pig and I was carrying her after I caught her because she got free again. <laughs> She's so funny. She knows everything. She knows who I am. She knows like, she knows everything. She's so smart. So every time I would try and catch her, she would run bucking. And every time she would see me, she would squeal. But honestly, the minute that the horses heard that little pig out here. They all ran to the fence. I can't wait. Ah! I'm strangled. I think. I can't well, wait. Like when we went down to do chores yesterday, they were all eating. And then Storm went in the barn and was just staring at us. He was probably saying, help the little thing. Like literally the minute that they hear her, they all come running. And I don't know if it's that they just want to watch her or that for Storm, I honestly feel like he he's baby worried about her because she seems distressed when I'm carrying her. All right, so I've been cleaning up this whole garden here. I've been cleaning up this garden and Sophie wants to plant here. This is Sophie's garden area. What are you gonna- Roses. Roses, she wants to plant so rose bushes. red, pink, and white. Red, pink, and white, so that's what she's getting this year. Don't you know that you're beautiful?